Hello, it's Dylan here, um, and today's tutorial is going to be on creating a checkpoint system for an obby, like an obstacle course you've made in Roblox. Uh, so it's actually very simple. So this is what it should look like. Um, so you do the obby, great. Um, as you can see, the checkpoint zero it says checkpoint one, and that's me in there. And once I get to this block, checkpoint two, it puts me into checkpoint two, and then I run across this thing, whatever. Checkpoint three. Admittedly, admittedly this is a very bad obby. Not gonna lie, uh, I made this in about five minutes, just for the showcase of it. And then if I jump up on here, I get checkpoint four, even though I died because I didn't make a very good obby. Okay, so this is actually very simple. If I copy and paste this, just so I can show you uh, how to make it. So if I just go over here and I will begin on how to make this, okay? So I'll just create a new game so that I can show you from scratch how to do this. Uh, it's very simple, it just uses uh, the Roblox Teams uh, service um, which has been around for a very long time on Roblox. Okay, so I'll just delete the base plate which is in workspace and then I'll put in this obstacle course, right? Okay, so I'm also going to group the obstacle course just to make it easier for us to see what's going on. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Model up here. And then you're going to want to click Service. And here where it says Teams, click on Teams once and then down here click Insert. And you'll notice in the Explorer panel another service comes up called Teams. Okay. Now in here you're going to want to right click Insert Object and then team. Okay, and now you're going to want to name this object whatever. So the first checkpoint so is going to be checkpoint one, or you, I'm going to do it in numbers. So you could just put it, you can name this whatever you like, um, but I'm going to name it checkpoint one. And then you need to choose a team color, which is a property of the, of the team. Um, and the team color for this, I'm going to make black. Okay, so this team's color is black. Now, right, right now, this team isn't actually doing anything. But if I go once again in the model tab, I click spawn and I take this spawn that I've just got that's just spawned here and I put it at the first checkpoint which is here and I'm going to resize it so that it fits the checkpoint properly like this and then I'm also going to delete the decal in it which is this weird thing um, and I'm going to make it really small so to do that I'm going to make this uh, move size very small and there and then I'm also going to change the transparency to one so you can't see it okay so now this is the first checkpoint and every time someone touches this it sh uh, it should team them but actually it wouldn't yet because what we need to do is we want to click this spawn it should be called spawn location and there's a property called allow team change on touch so you want to tick that property and you also want to untick this property which says neutral. Okay, untick that. And then we also want to go to back to this team that we've created. And as you can see, we've called it the team color we've made black. So then when we go back to the spawn location, there's a exactly the same property here. And you want to click on this and make that property black as well. Okay, so now if I play the game, as you can see, I'm at checkpoint one. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we just want to right click on this and click duplicate. So now we have a duplicate of this team and we're going to name it checkpoint two. Okay. And now we, we need to change this team color value again. So this time I'll change it to, let's say olive. Okay. This is just a random color I found. doesn't matter what color you choose. You can choose it anything. Okay. So the olive. Now we're going to want to click back onto the spawn location. And we're going to duplicate it. So we're going to duplicate the spawn location and we're going to move it over to the second place where the checkpoint should be. So when the person gets here, they should go on to the team checkpoint two. Okay, so now we're going to want to keep everything the same apart from we're going to want to change the team color property once again to the same color as the team. And in this case, it's olive. So we'll change it to olive. And then we're going to want to do this for every team. So checkpoint three going to make it say really red, take the spawn location, duplicate it, move it over to checkpoint 3, change the team color value to bright, uh, really red, sorry, and then we're going to want to duplicate it once once more, we're going to change the name to checkpoint 4, 
Oops. Change them to checkpoint four. I'm gonna make the color uh, lime green. And then I'm gonna make another spawn location. And I'm gonna move it over to the last checkpoint here. And I'm gonna scroll down to team color here and change that to lime green too. Okay, so that is all you need to do. So to, let's just test it. So if I run across, um, taking a very long time to do this, I'll just really quickly change my player's walk speed. Ignore this, I'm just changing my walk speed so I can show you this. Uh, so I'll change it to a 200. Right, so if I now run over to this checkpoint, and I stand on here, you can see I changed the checkpoint too. And if I run over to the third checkpoint, uh, I changed to checkpoint three, I ran a bit far so I fell off the side. But you can see you've got a checkpoint system, and when I respawn, because I just died, I'll spawn onto the checkpoint that I just fell off. Um, and this is a really good way of saving your progress in the obby and everything, of course. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe uh, if you enjoyed it, um, and you want more videos like this. Also, leave, leave a comment in the description, and I will feature... Uh, I'll, I'll put your name in the credits if I use your idea um, for another scripting tutorial. So thanks for watching, and bye.